Okay, let's take this one triangle at a time. I have triangle. HCB is my big triangle. I'm going to label it as such. Next, I'll take apart and look at triangle HAC. I'm going to draw a similar triangle down here. I know that A is my right angle. A is my right angle in this case. H matches with H. And then I have C down here. So this is triangle HAC. And then lastly, let's look at this green triangle here. Again, I want to pull out my right angle, which is angle A. I see that we have a shared angle B here, so let's line up the Bs. And then that leaves C up here, so this is triangle CAB. And all these triangles are similar. So triangle HCB is similar to triangle HAC, which is similar to triangle CAB. Take a moment before you finish off this question and answer the second part to really make sense of these three drawings. Make sure you're clear on how they've been spun and shifted to line up exactly. Drawing them out like this is going to help for solving for x. And this is why. In our big triangle, we have 5, 4, and 3. So we have 5, the 3, and the 4. In our red triangle, just here, we end up with our hypotenuse is the 3, and CA, CA here is X. And then in our green triangle, CB is 4, and CA is X. So to solve for X, we can use either the blue with the red or the blue with the green. I'm just going to go ahead and use the blue with the red. We're going to set up a proportion. We know x to 4 is going to be the same as 3 to 5. Cross multiply, I get 5x equals 12. x is going to equal 12 over 5. Thus, we see that x equals 12 fifths, or if you want to, you can write this as 2 and 2 fifths, or 2.4. Either way, all of these answers are right. And there's my final solution. There are two more theorems we need to look at. These are rather complicated as well, especially if you do not understand these similar triangles. So take a moment, really make sense of the similar triangles. Make sense of the th that we get three triangles and how they break apart into these similar forms. If you think you're ready, then go ahead on to theorem 7.6.